restraining order kind of didn't work out so well. How'd you find me anyway? Cecil. Cecil. Shit. If there's one thing you can trust, is that you can't trust Cecil. It cost me a fifth the jack and a car in the palm malls. Some bitch brother just drives a hard b b bargain. Well, spit it out, D-D-Dwayne. What's on your feeble little mind? Cecil told me where you was working. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're sitting on a whole lot of c c cash here. You're wrong. What? They ain't got m m money there? Oh, sure they do, and they just leave it sitting around in cookie jars and nobody ever counts it. Why oh, you always gotta be such a smart ass? Cause you're always such a dumbass. Anyway, I got me a manicure. All right then, give me back the boob money. Boob money? The money I lent you for them boobs. You didn't lend me anything. They were an Arbor Day gift. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? What kind of ass -wop give a broad an Arbor Day gift? I got the card to prove it if you want to go down that road. And besides, I never wanted them anyway. You're the one who made me get these things. I don't recall you complaining back then. I hate to break it to you, Dwayne, but I was blind drunk the entire time I knew oh, you. Yeah. I woke up one morning in Yazo County Bus Depot, and lo and behold, there they were. Surprised me as much as anyone. You ain't getting the boob money back. They've gone all lopsided anyways. Oh, damn it, I need that m m m m money. Well... Aren't you big, notorious hit man? Why don't you get a contract and kill somebody? Economy is slow. People ain't splurging for luxury since the recession. Fine. But you bother me again. And you best be prepared to carry your nuts around in a baggie, okay? Now this has been real, real special.